Shareability is a website that we have created uh, to have a lot of content for learners. Uh, you'll find it presentations here, you'll find notes, books, uh, video tutorials. You can search for whatever you want from here. And when you upload, uh, there are some tags here which are like the categories. So whatever you upload will go either under any of these subjects. The tags are the subjects. And this side we have the classes. Uh, so you should be able to choose a class and a subject. So this is Shareability Uganda. And uh, you can always access a lot of resources here on shareability.net. Now, if you want to upload a resource, you come here and click on Login to Dashboard. Click on your account and click on Login. Now, uh, all the members who had registered on the old Shareability, we have transferred your accounts. So you can just log in to this uh, Shareability here. So you, when you click on uh, your account, you come here into the Login page. So here you can be able to put in your username and password. So put in your email and then uh, you also put in your password. If you don't have an account, you can first uh, go up here and click on register and you create an account. But if you have an account, you come here and then you can be able to log in. So you put in your username and then your password. In case you've forgotten your password, uh, especially all the members whose accounts we changed to the old share video, first click on lost password here. You put in your email and then it will send you the password. But for me, I can just log in. Uh, in this case, I can just log in. So when I click on login, it is going to log me in and it's going to bring my name here. And uh, also your photo will come up here. This photo was put on gravata.com. Those of you who know gravata, which is on WordPress, that's where you upload that photo from. And then it will appear there. So you come here and you click on upload a resource. There is upload a resource that is upload uh, submit a premium resource that is if you have something you want to sell like a book which you don't want to give out for free or a blog post if you want to just write an article on the blog and then you can access your purchase downloads if you have bought something from the shop from the shop you will always come here to download it yeah so you click on upload a resource okay so i'm going to be uploading uh, this uh, scheme of work many teachers normally look for schemes of work so I am, I'm sharing this template, so I think I can help someone out there. So I'll come here and I'll get my, my title. So uh, this is the scheme of work, uh, term 3 subsidiary CT. This is my, more of, uh, my title, so I can come here and I put in uh, the details of my document which I want to share. So I'll come here and I put it in here. My document, sample scheme of work, uh, term three, subsidiary city, that is my title. Then up here, on the, on the right here, there is a section for uh, attach a file. So you can select it if it is on your computer. So you can click on that uh, button and then you upload. So it is going to bring this browse. So for me, mine is on the desktop and it's here, spoiled scheme of work. So I, I upload it so it is going to upload here it is uploading so when it uploads it puts it up here but uh, also you realize that there is a section here of insert URL this one is for in case you have the document already like for example for me I have them on my Google Drive so if you have it already on Google Drive for instance on your computer you can come to Google Drive and uh, you right click on the document that you want and then you click on get shareable link uh, yeah, so it could be on Google Drive, it could be on Dropbox, it could be on another website when you have a direct link. Maybe you're adding a resource which is on maybe on another portal, maybe like the UNEB support files when they're on the UNEB portal, you can just get that link, that resource from the UNEB uh, website. Then you copy the link and uh, when you copy this link, you can be able to to come and you add it to uh, to your document here. So you can be able to upload it, to, to, to put it here. And then you click on this plus yeah yeah so but uh for me in this case uh for me i i um, i've just uploaded it directly from my computer so that is uh, what you do now before you click on publish there are a number of things you need to do you need to put a tag so this one here is a, a tag we normally put the subject the subject uh under which this resource so, so this is subsidiary city so when i put sub we have entered all the subjects in the system. If you put a uh, geography, if you just put geo, it will bring geography. So 
if you put K, it will put bring K message. So you, you type and then you select. But in this case, I want to also scheme. So you say I've just said K, but this is part of scheme of work. So let me also choose scheme of work as a tag uh, for this particular resource. So those are two tags, the scheme of work and this for subsidiary ICT. Now, the next thing is to choose a class. So this one is a senior five and uh, it is also in a level. So I choose senior five and a level. Okay, so that is a um, uh, list. Now, there is also a section down here which has featured image. Featured image is in case you want to put there uh, like uh, a thumbnail on this resource so that it is visible. So like this is a document. If I want a thumbnail for this one, I can use uh, what call print screen, the print screen button. And then uh, I can be able to, to save that, that image. Yeah, so I open my program called Paint. It is a program. You can even open PowerPoint or you can open any program and then you paste. So I've done what called it a print screen. This is because I want to get a, a thumbnail. But this is optional. This is optional really. You don't necessarily need to put to do this. So uh, for me, I've chosen this. So this is a picture. This is like a screenshot of my document. If it is a book, I could put, I could put the book cover or an image. Uh, if it is biology, I can put there. And if it is a, a syllabus, I can put there the, the cover or some image which represents the document. Yeah. So uh, so from there, uh, you after saving it, I've saved it on a desktop. I come here and I upload it. Uh, I upload it to uh, to, uh, to to be my featured image for this particular resource. Yeah, this here screenshot. I think I've chosen something else. Okay, so this is an optional step that you can do uh, just to set a featured image for your particular document on your website. Okay, so I say featured image. So uh, now there are other things here in WordPress that you don't need to really mind about. Uh, there are things here like this. Uh, this part here uh, where you can put some details. For example, you can say um uh okay um scheme of work based on the mcbc sub ict syllabus okay uh okay so For senior five term three. So this is this is uh, a description. You can put here a description of your uh, resource. A description is like more details about it. So for example, if it is a book, you can put here the book title, and then here you can put here the outline, like the book outline. Uh, so someone can read through before he can read. So the main thing is, is mainly the title here up. And then you either drop, or you upload your file here, or you drag and drop, or you put a link if it is a linked resource. If it is not, you just upload it. It's already maybe online. So you, you just want to add that resource such that people can be able to download it from wherever it is. So basically, uh, that is what you do. Now, you click on uh, Submit for Review. Now, if you are a, a, a new person who has started, we, we, we can later on give you rights. So that once the moment you click on Submit, it goes live. But if you are a new person, uh, you have just uploaded maybe one or two documents so far, uh, we have to first look at what are you uploading to avoid uh But later on, when we see that you are really a person, uh, 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 we activate your account, and then we do what? And then we, and then we make you uh, post live. Yeah. So basically, that is that is it. So. When you upload, you'll be able to see here that uh, your post has been submitted and there is uh, a bit here for preview. The admins will be notified and they will be able to approve your post to appear on shareability. Yeah, and uh, with time, uh, they will upgrade your uh, rights based on your activity on shareability. So that whenever you upload something, it appears immediately on the platform. And uh, you can be able to put your work here um, and share the links to with your students. Um, basically, we are building a digital library that can support professional learning in schools. 
as a teacher you can benefit a lot because you showcase your work here and uh, you get uh, to help to you to contribute to this digital library there are a lot of benefits that you can get from sharing content because you get known uh, and uh, there are a lot of opportunities that come with that yeah so basically that is it so this is our resource this is the thumbnail that we have added and um, uh, this is a sample scheme of work and when someone clicks on this download he can download it shows you uh, the file size and uh, down here there are some posts and uh, there, there are also some comments down here if, you, if someone wants to do the comments so basically this is this is the uh, resource so we people are uploading a lot of resources here uh, find the subject like has 200 resources find that a lot of resources if you want to um if you want to upload something else you can always go back and click on uh, log into dashboard if you want to publish a post instead or you want to publish a product a product is something for sale uh, you just go back to your dashboard under your account and then you can be able to uh, click on last time we clicked on upload a free resource this time you can click on submit a premium resource that one will be for sale when you're uploading it you even specify the amount of money to be sold and you want a post like an article just words it's just, it's not an upload then you click on that and you will be given an editor or space editor where you can type your title and your content and your pictures and uh, yeah basically this is your dashboard